Hey, Judge Evans here. Okay, here's a recap from last week's class in case you missed it. We started out reviewing the PEACE anagram, P-E-A-C-E. P, -E -A -C -E. P parenting. E, equitable distribution. A, alimony. C, child support. E, everything else. In case you're asked on a final exam, equitable distribution must be considered before alimony and alimony must be considered before child support. Thus, how appropriate the EAC in peace is because E comes before A comes before C in our considerations. Okay, we then talked about parental responsibility. We said there's three things that the court can order. Shared parental responsibility, that's where both parents confer and come to an agreement on major decisions for the children. Not, oh, what are they going to eat today? What clothes are they going to wear? Are they going to go to a birthday party while they're with me? No. Major decisions, as in where are they going to go to school? What pediatrician are we going to use? Does a child need braces or an appendectomy? Those are major decisions that must be made on behalf of the children. Shared parental responsibility says both parents confer and make those decisions on behalf of their children. Well, what about in a case where people don't get along so well? Okay, we can order shared parental responsibility and give ultimate decision making to one of the parents. The parents still have to confer, they still have to try to work it out, and then the person who has ultimate decision making breaks the tie. The third kind is sole parental responsibility. Whoever is awarded sole parental responsibility doesn't even have to ask the other parent. They do whatever they want as far as major decision making is concerned. Sole parental responsibility is not awarded very often. That's in cases where you have a parent who maybe is uh, suffering from some sort of substance abuse problem and they can't make decisions on their own behalf, never mind on behalf of their children. Sole parental responsibility is not awarded because the parties can't get along. Nope, that won't do it. Shared with ultimate will, but sole parental responsibility is a very, very extreme remedy. In none of those situations is one parent deciding when the children will see the other parent. So when I say major decision making, I'm talking about health and education, welfare, but not time sharing. All right, so that was sole parental responsibility. And then we began discussing the factors under 6113 because we know that when a parenting plan is uh, being created, we have to consider parental responsibility and then time sharing. Remember I said parental responsibility is all mental. We can sit right here and say, hmm, where's little Johnny going to go to elementary school? We don't have to move a muscle to come up with that decision other than maybe call the other parent. Time sharing, however, is physical back and forth, back and forth. The children are going back and forth and the parents are exchanging the child. Parental responsibility mental, time sharing physical. Don't forget that. So if you see shared parental responsibility, it does not mean 50-50 time sharing. Wrong. If somebody says that to you, it's wrong. Shared parental responsibility or parental responsibility, shared, shared with ultimate or sole is about decision making. That's it. Time sharing, on the other hand, that's where 50-50 can come into play. It could be 50-50, it could be 60-40, it could be anything. Everybody's different. Every single family is different. There is no set schedule. There's no default schedule, no fallback, nothing traditional. Every single family is different. And the way that the court determines how to award time sharing or which schedule to award is by considering the factors that we started discussing in class last week. So look them up in 6113. We got through, I don't know, better than halfway. So finish looking at them. And when we get back together, we are going to look at what it means to make findings for the court to make findings under each factor. So when I see you in the next class, make sure you've reviewed all the factors and make sure that you are up on the Evans family fact pattern. And I'll see you then.